What a beautiful morning! The sun is shining, the sky is blue, it's pancake day! We're off to the supermarket to get our pancake ingredients! Get yourself a little trolley, put your basket in your trolley, and then also I like to put my other belongings down here. I want that half to go in the basket because that won't stand up. My first ever pancake day in Japan. I'm very excited because I'm gonna try and make those Japanese souffle pancakes. I don't know how that's gonna go. Also, a moment for a quiet supermarket. Ah! So easy to get distracted in here. There's so much good stuff. Like the strawberries, come on. They just don't even look real. I actually feel like I might need some strawberries for my pancakes, right? That's justified. I'm gonna get some. I find super cute about Japanese supermarkets is they have like the produce and then underneath they have like a picture of the produce. <laughs> so it never looks like empty and bare. It always looks cute. I think these are the ones. Oh my gosh, it's like they saw me coming. The souffle pancake mix is on offer. I'm not about to be trying to make that from scratch. I'm hungry. Have to get some vanilla ice cream because Vanilla ice cream belongs on pancakes, in my opinion. Okay, this is all the milk. Um, hmm, I'm a full fat milk type of gal. Maybe this one. Of course, we need our eggies. Always check them, make sure they're not broken. Mm. Now I have to find flour. I think, oh, that's rice powder. I think these ones should be okay because these look like bread flowers. Bread flowers a little bit stronger than plain flour, but still should work okay. Let's do some Google Translate. That's what I was looking for. Soft finished salic wheat flour. <laughs> I found the littlest bottle of squirty cream. I'm gonna get that. I also just have to show you how delicious all of the pre-cooked food looks at Japanese supermarkets. Could honestly spend hours walking around here. The pre-packaged section, let me just show you. Look how yummy everything looks. Look at the flavor sandwiches. And of course, there's a sushi section. So good. Just everything looks delicious all the time. <laughs> this is where you check out and then they have packing areas where you can pack up your stuff. It's like a similar premise to Aldi, um, but the way that they place the things in your basket is the furthest thing from Aldi. They put them in so nicely and so gently. Look how pretty she laid it all out for me. And now I can just pack my bag over here nice and calm. I also realized last night when I was making my tea that I didn't have any measuring spoons or um, like a measuring jug. So I've just run up to the 100 yen store to see if they've got any little bits and bobs for my pancake. 100 yen store, it's a very, very magical place. Um, everything in here is 100, well, 110 yen because of tax. Everything. I got my stuff. Homeward bound, let's make some pancakes. All right, here we go. We have got the um, souffle pancake mix. I think it's souffle pancake mix. Um, and I also have my iPad because I'm gonna use Google Lens, not an app, <laughs> um, to translate the instructions. One bag of pancake mix and then 140 mils of water or milk. And then one medium egg. Cool. Okay, so. Pancake mix is gonna go in the bowl. Oh my gosh. Oh, why is that so hard? Scissors. Pancake mix goes in our mixing bowl. Nice. And then we're gonna have 140 mils of milk. I'd say that's about 140. Cool. 
and one egg. No shell. Let's whisk this bad boy up. Okay. Oh, she's going to be thick. Yep, looking good. I really hope that these make such like airy, fluffy pancakes. I don't really know what I bought. Okay, let's cook. So this is kind of where I always go wrong with fluffy pancakes because the middle always ends up being raw for me. So I'm going to put it on really, really low heat. And then I am going to put some butter in the pan. All right, my butter's melted. Here we go. I'm going to add about a ladle full of this mixture in. patience there is a rule though the first pancake is always terrible so if this one's terrible it's fine it's the first one. Oh, she's popping up pretty nicely i'm so excited yeah look at her she's thick she's thick she's not quite souffle i think she's somewhere in between american pancake and souffle pancake but yum okay first one's off she's cute <laughs> let's go for round two. While she's doing her thing, let's cut our straws. Let's chop them, chop them, chop them, chop them, chop them, chop them. I'm going for like quarters. Oh, that was a lot. Let's just taste test this one, make sure it's not poisonous. Mmm, not lying for attention. I think this one's my best one yet. Look at it. I'm actually intrigued to see if these are done in the middle, so I'm going to cut into one because I probably won't eat them all. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Taste this. Hmm. It could be sweeter. The texture's amazing. That's incredible. I know I said my last one was my best one, but... Look at this one. Ho, ho. That's good. Alrighty, let's eat. I've made myself a little matcha as well to go with my bareki first. I think I just swashed it all down the side there. One of my favourite things. Mmm. 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 So yummy. All right, time for toppings. I'm just starting with two because, you know, start small. I've cut these into quarters. I'm just going to put them on top. Love strawberry. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, a bit of maple syrup. I need more. She's maybe a bit. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Okay, granted, they're not quite souffle pancakes, but I feel like these are the fluffiest American style pancakes I've ever made. The other ones I've always made with like homemade batter, so maybe the trick is to just buy. A pancake mix. Mm. You know how before when I tasted it and I was like, oh, it's not very sweet. It could be sweeter. Now it's perfect because I've drowned it in syrup and the berries are so sweet as well. Mmm. Happy pancake day. All right, I cleaned up a little bit and now I'm going to make my pancake batter for my normal pancakes like you normally make on pancake day, the ones that you can flip and stuff. This pancake batter is always better when it's been sitting in the fridge for a while. Um, this one I kind of just eyeball um, and I kind of just whisk it until it's the consistency that I want. So I've got about this much milk and then... 
I'm cracking in two eggs. Lovely. I love an egg. Japanese eggs are honestly so good as well. They just taste so good. Also, Japanese milk is delicious. It tastes clean, if that makes sense. It tastes really, really clean. And then I'm going to pour my flour into my matcha bowl, actually. So this is the bowl that I whisk my matcha in um, so that I can just add it little by little because sometimes when I pour it out of the bag, you know, there's like a clump here and then it falls in and you're like, well, I didn't really want that much flour. So I'm going to do it like this. Um, I could spoon it in, that's clever, but I'm a bit impatient for that. And then I just whisk it in here. I also do this in a jug because then it's just easy to pour straight into the pan. Actually working up a sweat, but I added some more flour and this is kind of where we're at now. It's a perfect consistency, I think, but we'll know when I start to make these pancakes. Um, but this is, like I said before, for later on. So I'm just gonna cover this and put it in my fridge. So my pancake batter is in the fridge. I've loved it and left her alone. Um, I feel like that TikToker, she always comes up on my for you page, but I don't know her name. Um, and now I have to do my Spanish lesson. Um, but I think it would be so fun if after my Spanish lesson, we could make pancakes all together. So I'm gonna quickly try and edit this and upload it to YouTube so that when it goes live, you guys will see it and we can all make pancakes together. Um, the batter is so easy. It's made of things that everyone normally has in their houses. So milk, eggs, and flour. That's actually why we have pancake day. Pancake day is the day before lent um and lent is like a bit in the christian calendar where you give something up 40 days and 40 nights so traditionally people would need to clear out their pantries because they were like gonna give things up so they would clear it out and the things that they normally had in their pantries were milk eggs and flour so they made this batter and then made pancakes with them so um yeah, if you've got the ingredients, whip up a batter and then hopefully we'll go live and make pancakes all together. So for now, this is see you very soon. I have to go and I'll blow some Espanol.